Welcome to Star Citizen and the Vanduul Swarm Guide, where you can unlock the Esperia Glaive and the 2946 Aggressor Badge. We will show you the steps you need to take to unlock the rare and limited Esperia Glaive in the Fletch Store as an upgrade or even as one-time purchase, as it is otherwise not available on special sales like the Alien Week. You will also receive the 2946 Aggressor Badge. But you should be quick, because with the release of version 3.20, probably around the end of 2023, the Arena Commander will be extensively adapted and the unlocks will no longer exist in this form. The Glaive will also receive an extensive overhaul, which will mainly apply to Squadron 42, but will then also apply to existing ships. And if you want to know more about this very strong medium fighter, take a look at the dedicated Glaive Guide here in the channel. For a successful unlock, you have to activate the multiplayer mode in the Arena Commander and then start the Vanduul Swarm. Here you can either search for a match randomly or invite your friends via the friend list in the Arena Commander. Depending on the time of the day, it may also be a good idea to change regions to find random teammates. Up to 4 players can compete against the Vanduul in one round. To do this, you can either borrow a ship or use your own and adapt it if it's necessary. Almost all medium fighters are sufficient for beginners or less experienced citizens. And basically, the fewer the players, the more difficult it is. As soon as all players have declared their readiness by pressing the X key, the Vendul Swarm mode starts and a total of 9 waves of enemies spawn, which become increasingly difficult and spawn in a circle on the map. The next wave only starts when all attackers of the current wave have been eliminated. At first we have three respawn tokens, which increase in later waves. Eliminated enemies often leave power-ups that we have to fly through to repair our ship, replenish fuel, return our missiles or even get ballistic ammunition. The battles take place randomly on one of the two maps currently available, Broken Moon or Dying Star with cover everywhere to keep us safe from fire and regenerate our shields. The only difference between the two maps for the Vanduul Swarm is their appearance. For beginners or those with little combat experience, we recommend ships from medium or heavy fighters or ships such as a Freelancer, which have sufficient firepower and defensive capabilities to stand up to the attackers. However, Especially opponents with a glaive or sight have a very strong firepower, which offers the exploitation of cover. You should also keep an eye on your countermeasures for missile defense with the standard K key. For more experienced players, however, it is even more fun to go into battle with small snub fighters or light fighters in order to improve your own skills here, whereby especially the maneuverability can be a great advantage against the Vendul. The use of our missiles can also be helpful, as you often face several enemies at once when a wave spawns and you can use them accordingly. Basically, the Vendul Swarm mode is usually doable without major difficulties, especially with four other players, because thanks to the respawn tokens you can simply restart and continue in the event of some problems, without jeopardizing an unlock. You will also receive the unlock if at least one team member completes the game and you are still in the game. However, this unlock will only work until the release of the 3.20 Live version, probably towards the end of 2023, after the Arena Commander is currently undergoing a comprehensive overhaul and the Vanduul and Pirate Swarm modes are also being extensively adapted. There will be then new challenges with a new unlock and new rewards. And of course, there is also a comprehensive Pirate Swarm Guide here in the channel, with which you can unlock the Pirate Gladius as well as the Pirate Caterpillar and also receive a badge. The unlock counts as soon as you reach the end in multiplayer mode and have killed the last enemy in the ninth wave. You will receive a points table below and all participating players will receive the unlock. It is therefore not necessary to achieve a certain number of points or a kill number. Even peace-loving natures can get the unlock here with a suitable team. You can then check this via your account on the profile and the display titles. 
where you will find the 2946 Aggressor Badge, up to 30 minutes after completion. This will also unlock the possibility of purchasing a Glaive for 350 bucks or an upgrade for your account, whereby only one variant is available once. I say goodbye, until next time, see you soon and of course, see you in the verse.